Okay, so we're going to take this audio. It's pretty loud. It actually redlines, meaning that it goes all the way to zero. It starts to uh, top out, get red. You always want to keep your audio. No, uh, let's not go higher than negative six between negative six and negative nine. That's cinema quality, that's broadcast quality. I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to uh, edit clip in Adobe Audition. And what this is going to do is going to mix that audio down and it's going to send a version of it as a wave uncompressed over to Adobe Audition. There's some things we can do in this audio. So you see we have a, this top channel is a left channel, this right uh, bottom channel is your right channel, so this is stereo, it's left and right. So I'm just going to hit Command A, well click over here, make sure this window is highlighted, hit Command A and select it all. One of the things that uh, <clears throat> you always want to do is try and normalize your voice, uh, or normalize your audio. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to do a couple of things to make sure that our audio is not too high. Uh, one of the first things we're going to do is come over here to our effects, and we're going to come down to amplitude and compression and add a hard limiter. Um, the maximum amplitude is what we're looking at. We don't want things to go over zero decibels, all right, but I'm going to actually... Um, I'm going to come down and make that negative three there and uh, <clears throat> make sure that maximum amplitude isn't going above. If you go above zero, you get into the range of what's called clipping. Your audio starts to sound, uh, um, you know, coming real high or going real high and coming real low and it has this clipping sound. So you want to make sure that that is uh, <clears throat> um set to negative three. I, I don't want to set it to zero. I want to come down just a little bit more and input boost is fine. All right, so we have that one. Now we're going to go down here and go uh, back to amplitude and compression and we want to go to the uh, multi brand. Uh, let's go to single band compressor here. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. It'll work, but I'm looking for uh, something a little bit different. Let's see, tube model compressor. Yeah, there we are. Tube model compressor. That's what we're looking for. And you can kind of see uh, this. The threshold, we don't want it to go above six. So this kind of like, you know, negative six is where we're adding that threshold at. We're just saying, hey, you know, we don't want it to go above negative six. All right. The gain, we'll play with this uh, a little bit later. Uh, the ratio, uh, let's keep this around, maybe around five. This takes into effect what we're trying to keep our range in. And we're trying to keep it between negative six and uh, uh, negative three. Um, actually, excuse me, negative nine to uh, negative six. So <clears throat> this will uh, say that everything is five points above negative six will be, or five decibels above negative six will be one. Um, I'm not going to really worry about the attack here. Turn that down. And we'll go ahead and apply this and you can see that all this audio has been brought down. Nothing now is going above the negative three range. All right. Um, that actually might have been a little bit too low. So let's uh, undo it and go back to our uh, hard limiter. Let's go and just uh, say zero here. All right, I just don't want any clipping in the tube model. Maybe we'll we'll make this negative three. All right, that 
ratio. Let's bump that down to about five. That might sound pretty good. All right, let's apply that. So we're still redlining a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. Um, we're going to go back to negative three on that, but keep the other the same. All right. So now when we hit play, we can see it's not redlining anymore. I'm going to come back to here. This is what we're going to talk about the gain. When everything overall sounds too low, you can boost this gain multiplier up. down to negative six on this. Could bump the attack up a little bit more. That's just too much attack. A lot of it's just kind of, let's see, negative, let's go back to. Trying to keep my audio levels down. So it looks like around negative eight is going to keep that. All right, so we can apply it. It's not getting too loud. We could always go to our uh, filter and EQ and go to parametric equalizer. And uh, we can play around with some of, some of the uh, settings here. This generic high pass takes those really high uh, sibilant sounds that are towards the peak and it really enhances them. Which we're washing, we have water that we're washing uh, some vegetables in and so that sounds pretty good. I'm actually going to apply that, save it, and then go back over to Premiere Pro. And we can see now that audio is staying right where we want it to. It's not going, it's not really going over. Negative, negative six, and you can tell, I don't know if you can hear from the input, but this audio sounds so much better than this. So we can go and do this, work on the audio here real quick, and we'll just kind of Go to hard limiter, negative six. That was negative eight. That's what it ended up being. All right. And go amplitude, 
compression to model compressor. Uh, this was at negative six, I believe. The gang was at two. The attack was at eight, and the ratio was at five. Apply that. All right, and then we can go back and get that uh, parametric EQ and bump some of those those high passes up a little bit make it sound just a little bit more crisp. So save it. Or actually, let's do low pass. And the reason why I'm saying low pass, that's for your base settings. I'm dropping the mushrooms into this um, colander. Uh, and so I want that bumping sound to be more recognizable. So we're going with the lower pass or the lower volume here. And so now we go back to Premiere Pro. And there we are. All right, so a quick demo on how to if, uh, quickly tweak your audio if it's redlining and to make it just a little bit better.